Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with our subject artificial intelligence. The next topic in the subject is agents environment in AI. So far you have seen different types of agents in AI. Now let's see what are the agent environment in AI. An environment is everything in the world which surrounds the agent. But it is not a part of the agent itself. So we have to remember this point. I already explained that. Environment is nothing but whatever the artificial intelligence that machine is able to see. Okay. And it's a, it's a work based on the uh, conditions of the environment. Okay. That you call it as an environment. And environment is everything in the world. Okay. It's everything in the world which surrounds the agent. So this point you have to remember that which surrounds the agent but it is not the part of an agent itself it is not the part of an agent it is surrounds the agent that you call it as an environment suppose here i am writing everything okay this you, you call this is an agent so outside this whatever i am able to see that is an environment an environment can be described as a situation in which an agent is present. So it's just, you can, sim, in simple words, we can say it is just a situation in which agent is a present. In which agent is present. So I am I am an agent, okay. I am explaining everything and here I am writing everything. So this is an agent. So he, here, so many people are watching this video. These are, those are all called as environments. Means the, it's just a situation. It's a, uh, or else it's a recording the video. Okay, I am recording the video and different people are watching everything. That's the surroundings you call it as an environment. An er environment can be described as a situation in which an agent is present. Now let's see what are the features of environment. An environment can have various features from the point of view of an agent. So here we are talking about the uh, features of environment in the view of agent. So remember this point. In the view of agent, uh, an environment has various features. So what are they? Fully observable versus partially observable. So here the environment in the view of agent, the agent can fully observe, observe the environment or partially observe. The, it may be, uh, the environment may be a static or dynamic. A static versus dynamic in the view of an agent. It may be a discrete versus continuous. Deterministic versus stochastic. Single agent versus multi-agent. Episodic versus sequential, known versus unknown, accessible versus inaccessible. So these are all the features of environment in the view of agent, features of environment. So let us discuss one by one. So first I said it is a fully observ uh, observable versus partially observable. So what is this fully observable and what is this partially? If an agent sensor, okay, if an agent sensor can sense the complete state of an environment at each point of time, then it is called fully observable environment. Now, suppose if you are taking any automatic uh, self-driving car, so that is an agent. So here this agent is fully observing the environment, means what, whatever the, uh, the maps or the signals or the sensors, everything is an active and it is able to observe everything, okay, surrounding to that car, okay, that is a fully observable agent an environment at each point of time that is it is called means if an agent sensor can sense the complete the complete state of an environment at each point of time then it is fully observable environment or else it is partially suppose if it is not observing everything in the environment then you can say it is a partially observable and coming to the end the feature deterministic versus stochastic so what is this deterministic versus stochastic in the uh, in the view of agent about environment. If an agent current state means at present state and selected action can completely determine the next state of environment then such environment is called determinist. Means whenever the current state is able to determine the next state of environment then we can say it is deterministic. Means it is stick to that point. That agent is stick to that point so that he can able to see the current status as well as the next state of the environment. So if you take the Google Maps. So here in the Google Maps we are it's just automatically 
detecting the traffic situation so at present what is the traffic situation so whatever the point we are able to reach in between that the next state it's checking the complete status so that is a deterministic we call that type of it is a deterministic so then what about the stochastic a stochastic environment is random in nature so it should be in random in nature and cannot be determined completely by an agent so here the agent cannot determine completely so whenever the situation is arises then only it can uh, able to find out but uh, it cannot fit to the deterministic it cannot be determined completely the random in nature and another type of the feature is the episodic versus sequential so what is this episodic versus sequential in episodic environment there is a series of one shot actions and only the current perspect is required for that action so that you call it as episodic environment then what about the sequential in sequential an agent requires many of past actions to determine the next best action means once it is completed then it takes the next part so when it uh, completes the first part whenever the agent requires the money of past action whatever the action that it is completed the past action whenever it is full fully play, paid then only it goes to the next best action that is a sequential episodic means the series of one shot actions and only the current percept is required for that action and another one single versus multi agent single the name itself it is saying it is a single one and here the multiple things are there if only one agent is involved in an environment if only one agent is involved in an environment and operating by itself then such an environment you call it as a single if only one person is able to one agent one agent is involved in the environment and it is that agent itself operating that then such is single agent then what about the multiple agent just opposite if multiple agents are operating in an environment then such environment is called multi agent so we are talking the features of the environment in the view of the agent because the agent is surrounded the environment surrounded by the environment next one static versus dynamic so if environment can change itself while an agent is deliberating then such environment is called dynamic whenever the environment is changing itself dynamically okay changes itself while an agent is deliberating so such type is dynamic otherwise it is a static so the example for static and dynamic you can take the taxi driving the taxi driving is an example of dynamic and there is a crossword puzzle or examples of static so taxi driving is automatically changing okay it's a dynamic environment it's based on the traffic situations it may uh, increase the car speed it can decrease the car, car uh, sorry car speed okay the environment can change itself while an agent is deliberating that then such environment we call it as dynamic that is a taxi driving and the cross crossword puzzles so the crossword puzzles is a fixed one so it is a static one so these are all the features of this environment thank you